Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, today we have the new Jordi Alba SPC. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Can I get a rip in the chat for my boys Ibrahimovic and Benzema? 80? What 80? Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is five foot seven, high high work rates, left footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. So obviously, uh, some very good stuff to work with there. Uh, player traits: he's got early crosser, speed dribbler, swerve pass, flare passes, team player. Okay, well, position changes. All right, uh, it's cool because you can use them any way you want, really. Yeah, I mean, you could technically give this card. Any chemistry style. Yeah, because his pace is already in a pretty decent area if you decide to use him as a midfielder. His shooting is also going to be in a good area. I want to see what it does with shooting on a gladiator. Where does it put his shot power? That's what I'm curious about. Let's take a look. Okay, so uh, explosive. Explosive is going to be the one that people use the most. Oh, no, actually. Anchor. Controlled. A hawk also makes him controlled. A hawk wouldn't be a bad choice if you use him in like a um, three back formation. He's being played as your left mid uh, because he's four star. Four star has some shooting capabilities, but he has defensive stats. So that's something that you can do. Um, the gladiator is the one I wanted to see, though. Yeah, see? So this could be a very interesting thing to do because obviously he doesn't have like a center mid position change, which he shouldn't, to be honest. Uh, left wing back, left back position. But in game, you could switch him over to the center mid area, and then because of the shot power being on the lower side with the 88, sure, he doesn't have the outside foot shot, but it's something that you can do, right? I do feel like a very large majority of the people will give this card an anchor chemistry style and just use him for his defensive capabilities as well as his agility, right? It's really nice to work with cards that do have very good dribbling capabilities because dribbling this game can be pretty rough on the left stick, so definitely nice that he could be good on those uh He's a unique body type player, so I want to see how that works in game as well. Shooting, he has shooting stats, which is nice. Passing stats, he has uh, dribbling all in a very good area, considering the fact that he's five foot seven with a unique body type. Defensive stats is good. Physical stats is good. It just it just looks like a really well rounded card. And obviously, if you ended up doing with a Sergio Busquets card, who is a very good player, um, it's a nice little triple link setup just like that. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and unlock the card, and I'll show you guys how we line them up. Okay, guys, so we have Jordi Alba on the team. Uh, if you guys watched the most recent 4-3-2-1 tactic video that we reviewed, um, the left back position will be perfect for this because it'll be on the balanced instruction. We will not touch that and we'll just play it uh, as it kind of is, right? So, yeah. Um, again, just on balanced instructions, we have the anchor on him. We'll see how he plays. Hopefully, he is a beast. Dribbling with no pressure feels nice so far. Ah, build up play didn't work out. Oh, get it. Oh, we're good. Nice forward here. Good ball roll pass. Almost. I'll take that. Good stuff. The track back was pretty good there. Messed up the pass initially. The first time. Oh, manual defending almost works there. Almost. It's a weighted pass. So they had attacking momentum. Track back was good enough there. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. On the edge. On to Jordi Alba. 
And that's what I'm saying, right? The outside foot shot. When your shot power is set up a certain way, when it's under, you can get some goals there, right? So... Nicely done. Okay. Very, very nice. So they restart the game and only one team in it. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Kick off, kick off, kick off. We're good. Didn't get the initial challenge there, but we got the challenge afterwards. And track back is good there again. Remember, he is on balance, right? So he's going to commit forward a little bit. That's the whole point of the tactic for him specifically. Nicely done again. Ball roll, ball roll. And then we got the looped again. Yeah. So just be mindful of that. If you actually want to use him in that left center mid area, he'll be really solid at doing those, right? We'll take that. Three points in this one. The lineup then for the hosts. Alison gets the nod in goal. Javier Zanetti plays with Alexandro as fullbacks. Federico Chiesa. We're good. Pass it upwards. Got the weak foot for it, which is always nice. Gonna build up the play slowly here. Throw from the space nicely. Mid a little bit. Beautiful goal. Nice. Very, very nice. The whole buildup was sick. We get the rage quip. Nice. I matched the same guy. That's funny. I just matched the same guy again. Yeah, I just matched him again. He's going to kick it out. Interesting. If I had loans, bro, GG's to those loans, eh, boys? <laughs> oh, unlucky. He's a really good player. Oh, <laughs> I did, dude, I literally did that for the sake of the review and he still scored. Let's go. Wow. Defending properly goes through my legs. That's fun. Only for him to do the same meta moves. That weak foot pass is like, it's it's a very underrated thing to look into, but very helpful. He's got the right idea with that pass. Beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Good stuff. Honestly, I didn't expect to get it like that. Yeah, that dribbling response from this is super helpful. I tried. Try to see if I can open up the space a little bit there. Oh, he had it too. Oh, 
Uh, did well there. Trackback was fast enough too. Always important when you have these guys unbalanced. All position to receive that. Oh, unlucky. I mistimed it just a bit there. Could be all right here. Ball roll, ball roll. Quick dribbles. Now we still have it. Nicely done. Beauty. Beauty. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, cards like this, man, they're so good to have in that um, that balanced role for the fullback. Especially when they can pass, they can shoot. A lot of things you can work with, right? Wow, I actually scored with Joaquin, eh? <laughs> Interesting. We'll take it. Good build up play. This is turning into something of a rout. Oh, nice pass, Jordy. Yeah, still got it back. The ball with Luka Modric. Excellent passing. Oh, I don't score that? Man. Oh, such a good play, too. He thought I was going to overcommit that. That quick response of dribbling, though, man. It's, uh, it's nice. Oh, that goes right through me. The track back is so fast, though. Lay it off. Go back down. Dribble a little bit. Boom. Back in. Ball roll. Touch. Ooh. He did it fast, though. He did it fast. Back back was good enough. I'm going to have to do something. Yeah, he's too small for those. Second man press again. Hold it. Go back in. Slide tackle. Just to kind of... Lock out that area, and we're good. Nice. Good goal. Good goal, good goal. Quick dribbles again. That's, uh, listen, I would say it's my fault, but manual defending this game is horrible, so you guys know how that goes. He almost gets to that. Physical presence is obviously going to be lacking with the card. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Jordi Alba SBC. So, guys, in my opinion, the card's worth getting, okay? Um, I think he's worth getting simply due to the fact that he has all of the right things to be a really nice balanced left back right so in this 4-3-2-1 that i recently reviewed from emra yilmaz if you guys didn't check out the video be sure to do so um the left back is on balance instructions okay so on the balance instructions a card like this is perfect to work with because he can dribble he's got the pace he's got the high high work rates to track back like crazy uh his shooting stats are there you could technically play a card like this playing in the left center mid position if you want to it just depends on how you line up because he obviously doesn't have that versatile position switch where you can play him center mid and then actually play him there which is fine right because this is a card that i do mainly see being played over on that left hand side in general being played as a left back but if you wanted to actually use him as a left center mid you could because the fact that the card has shooting capabilities is a very huge variable to work with because 
Technically speaking, if you wanted to give this card a gladiator chemistry style and you were using him as a center mid on an explosive accelerate, he would actually make a very solid center mid to work with in that left side uh, left sided area because the shot power is still going to be at an 88. So if you try to go for an outside foot shot left foot on the left side, he'll be very solid at hitting them like you guys were able to see from the multiple animation choices that the card had, right? That with the high, high work rates, unique bite while well being five foot seven would be great. But then obviously, if you're using him in a more defensive way, or you're using him in like a three back formation being played in the left mid position, it would be more ideal to either give him a hawk or an anchor, depending on how you see yourself using this card. So guys, generally speaking, when it comes to Jordi Alba as an SPC, he is a better card than the Balde card. And I use Balde during that time period. And for me personally, Jordi Alba uh, just performs a little bit better, right? Because he, he's a little bit more well-rounded. Um, Jordi Alba, what am I doing? Uh, Balde is this one right here. So with Balde, a lot of different variables, right? Doesn't have shooting capabilities. Um, he is five foot nine with a lean body type. So it's like you're comparing a car that is light to comparing a car that's light as well. And it's like, which one would you rather go with? You'd rather go with the Jordi Alba. The price range of this car at 67K, honestly, is pretty decent to work with. But I personally don't mind the price range of this Jordi Alba at 214K, considering all the fodder that you've probably had saved up to put into an SBC like this to give you a nice little cheeky triple link setup to someone like Sergio Busquets, uh, Araujo, who's still a meta player to use. People like to use him a lot. Um, who else do I have in this team that gives you the links, right? Pedri is another fantastic example. That triple link setup that you have on that left-hand side is crazy. Um, that alone is going to be really sick. So yeah, definitely an SBC worth picking up if you plan to use a team like this in the future, because in that left back position, he's fantastic to use for the links that he offers as well. So I enjoyed him a lot, thought he was a fantastic player. Um, the only thing that you will notice if you have him on that stay back while attacking role is obviously going to be lack of physical presence, which isn't obvious because you get trade offs, right? It's always a trade off with these types of cards. Uh, lack of physical presence because he's five foot seven. He's just a shorter player, so sometimes he doesn't go for that reach that some players might go for, like a Cop de Villa or something, right? So to compare like a Cop de Villa to a Jordi Alba, it just depends on how you line them up. Cop de Villa will offer you more defensive physical presence. Jordi Alba will offer you more of a presence pushing forward and offering you more um, attacking support, right? So a little bit different to work with there, but um, yeah, it's still a good SBC. I don't mind the price of it personally. I think he's really, really good in game. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.